All right, people, I'm back again. But a lot of people want to live for the world. I think a lot of people don't even understand what the, the, when it says the truth will set you free. Not free to live for the world. It'll, it'll free you from the snares of the devil in this world. Free you up from the truth. Free you from following vain traditions. Free you up from doing what the world says do. And you got to try to start being obedient to what Christ wants you to do. You know, I talk about Christmas every year. I talk about it every year in December. I can't help but talk about it because it's, it's pushed down my throat constantly. And the deceitful is behind it. And you know, no matter how many souls I tell this to, the truth in regards to this holiday, not holy day, this holiday in regards to this, how deceptive it is, and you know, most people are not going to believe it. And you know what I get a lot of times? I'm not going to take this away from my kids. My parents did it for me. I'm not going to take it away from my kids. I'm not going to take Christmas from them. Ooh. Man. Using the kids to stop, to keep doing something. He said, my people perish for lack of knowledge. He said, you should not worship me or give honor to me like the pagans do to their gods and their deities. You see, some shit click in your head when you find out something is linked to another deity. And then the world decided to, to worship Christ in the same way. You see, even in the Bible, God gave us our holy days. Nobody endorses them. And the thing is, I don't even know how to begin. The gospel has been preached for years and years and years and years and years. But where is it? Where are these holy days? We, we know about the holidays. We know about Easter. We know about that. We know about Christmas. We know about that. We know about Thanksgiving. We know about that. We know about Halloween. We know about that. We know about a lot of stuff. But far as that scripture goes, we're in the dark on a lot of things. Because growing up, we thought all these days were holy days. We thought. To whom much is given, much is required. You got the power at your hand. To research everything known to man. If you want the truth, you can get it. People post it all the time. I'm not the only one that does this. Tells you the truth behind Easter. Tells you the truth behind Christmas. Tell you the truth behind Halloween. I'm not the only person that does this. Many do. And nobody pays attention to none of them. Just turn a blind eye to it eyes to see but they see not ears to hear but they hear not but they don't want to a lot of people want to stay blind I always use the matrix for example if anybody remember the matrix Neo always felt something was wrong and they called him out they pulled him to the matrix they opened his eyes to the truth but it was one guy in the matrix that he knew it was fake he knew it was false, but he wanted back in. And he said, I'm going to sell my crew out to get back in. And he did just that. But it didn't work out according to his plan. But he wanted back in. He wanted the veil back on. And a lot of people are in Christ know the truth, but they want it back in. Because it's hard. I'm not saying this is going to be an easy task. You're going to lose family members. You're going to be in disagreement with friends and all these things trying to live for Christ. But it's worth it. But you stepping out on a limb and going against the grain of the world might lead somebody else to follow suit. Do you understand? But if you keep doing it as a follower of Christ, all you're going to do is encourage other people to keep doing it too. And they'll be like, well, if the Christians are doing it, 
we can do it. There was a video posted last year about Halloween from a sorcerer, a pagan man, who used to be a warlock and worship Satan. And he told, did a video about the deceitfulness behind Halloween. But yet, I posted it. Nobody wants to hear it because it's fun. It's fun. It's fun. The devil loves to show you pleasures. It's fun. It's fun. It's fun. Indulge. But you got to understand. When also Christ talks about the thief, he talks about his return. How he returned, he would come as a thief in the night when people least expect it. When they're, when they say peace, and then sudden destruction, they're gonna be saying peace on earth. They're gonna be saying this and that. They're gonna be saying all types of things. And then he's gonna show up. And a lot of people are gonna miss the mark. Cause they, was, they decided to remain blind. That's why he say tell people the kingdom of, of heaven at hand right now. Because we don't know. And not knowing is a good way to get yourself ready. This ain't like the storms. They give you a time frame when it comes. Like, But you still don't know where it's going to hit. But you get a little time frame. You can get a little prep. But with, with Christ coming, you don't really know the day or the hour. So you got to be ready all the time. Am I saying I got it all figured out? By no means. I'm trying to. But everything I know, I'm going to let you know. Every trial, every suffering, I'm going to let you know. Every blessing, every merciful moment that God gives me, I'm going to let you know. I'm going to let you know whatever. You, if you read that, he said it's for rebuke, reproof, Correction, love, all those cover God. Reproof, it's of God. Rebuke, it's of God. Correction, it's of God. Love, it's of God. All of it is. But you got a gospel. God is none of those other things. God is not rebuke. Huh? Okay. Well, I guess that goes against the word when we say whom the Lord loves, he chastises. Chastisement is a form of disciplinary action. <laughs> so if you love God, and he said whom he loves, he chastises. You didn't got chastised a few times by him. Not because he hates you. Because he loves you as a father. Oh, but you got these spoiled brat kids these days. I don't, I don't think that's, that's not, it's just like the parents in this world. Don't spank your kids. You don't show you love them like that. That's, that's abuse. But that's the world. That's the world's form of love. Christ's form of love, God's form of love involves a little few spankings. It does. But you gotta, like I said, you gotta, we live in a spoiled brat civilization. Everybody soft as pillows. They don't like it. They hate it. And that's crazy. Why are the kids so bad these days? No rebuke. No reproof. When you take reproof, and you take rebuke, and you take chastisement,